Hi, so my name is David Russmith, and this is just a short video showing you how to wireframe an app with Balsamic. The app I'm designing here is called Justin Bieber or Idle No More, and the idea is I give users a tweet and they have to guess whether it's about Justin Bieber or Idle No More, and the keywords have been blanked out. So first I'm just setting up the navigation. Uh, users can play, check out high scores, or read more about the app. Balsamic has a lot of cool tools for auto-centering and aligning elements. Um, to be honest, I'm still getting used to them, so the way I do things in the video might not be the best way. Um, then I drop in some text. That's where we're going to put the tweet that shows up for the user. So I'll just copy a sample one I have prepared ahead of time. Line that up. Then the user is also going to have two buttons they can choose between. One will be for I don't know more, and then the other will be if they think it's a Justin Bieber tweet. I like using the icon with text for my buttons. That way it's easy to see what a button does, even if the final version is not going to have that text. And uh, Balsamic has a lot of pre-built icons, which give you sort of slightly more image-rich wireframe, which is nice. And um, yeah, so here I'm just lining things up, centering them. Let's move that down. A lot of it's sort of tweaking with the spacing, especially with an app, because you don't have a lot of space to work with. It's looking good. A little more space. Um, so I also want the users to be able to put in a name, so that way if they get a high score, their nickname shows up. Um, so Balsamic has everything you want, text input boxes, check boxes, buttons, toggles, and they actually have a section just for iPhone UI elements as well. Put in our done button, uh, and then I can select both these objects and tell Balsamic to line them up. And you see those friendly suggested guides pop up as you move things around. Just more tweaking, get everything looking pretty. And get those horizontal lines all the way across. Okay, and uh, there's also a markup tool, so that way you can put comments to yourself or to developers who are going to actually be building out the app for you. Um, so the name, we only want the nickname to show up if they don't already have a nickname, because it's pretty ugly and we don't want to waste the space. So that's that's looking pretty good. Save that. And then once you save it, what you can also do is you can clone it and then work on your next page. So if you have two pages that are very similar or if you've built your template and then you want to base all other pages off that, it's a great idea. So this is basically what the page is going to look like if they've already logged in or already have a name. Save that one. Page 2. So now um, I'll clone this again and then we'll do the scores page. So in the menu you can actually choose which items highlight. So I want scores now. Um, I'll copy and paste the name because I want them to be able to change the name whenever they want on the score page. Um, actually that horizontal line, I don't know if I'll keep that in. Anyway, we'll drop a grid. It's great for our high scores. Um, this part of the video I've really speeded up just because it's text editing and fine tuning. Basically, I want my scoreboard with top 10 people. I haven't quite learned the formatting yet for the tables here in Balsamic. Um, I'll probably have that in the next video. But you can do some cool things for making them sortable and selecting certain items and predefining widths and heights. But uh, there we go. Let's add a couple more in. We'll change the change the row lines, change the height of rows. A little more contrast. Just fill it out so we have 10 items to make sure they all fit. Even though Balsamic's rough, I mean the pixel measurements are all perfectly accurate, so it does help you when you're taking it design and you know what size your elements and assets should be. And then of course an about page where we can just put 
um, you know, reasons behind the app, privacy, and maybe ask for some feedback and ratings. And that's about it. Um, then I just have some screenshots. I worked on the app a little bit more after making the video, so I tweaked a couple more things, um, including putting in some images for those icons so that we can see the images and some more comments. And the score, I forgot to add the score in. But uh, that's basically it.